Hi everyone, how's it going? Joseph Tan here for Gore Cartoons and welcome to our very first film of 2009. Now, as you can tell, I'm not in the studio today, I'm on location at Linthorpe Cemetery and I'm here because I'm trying to find a gravestone that belongs to a man called Moses Carpenter. He's been here for about 120 years and he is probably by far one of Middlesbrough's most unique visitors. I'd like you lot to join me while I try to search for his grave. From a very early age, uh, I've always been interested in uh, the histories of uh, exotic cultures. Chinese, Japanese culture, the Aborigines of Australia, uh, and also the Native American people of North and South America, uh, of which Moses Carpenter originates. He was born in Canada, he was part of the Six Nations tribe, and if you imagine a Red Indian, that's probably essentially what he was. He was a Mohawk Red Indian. I'm still searching for the grave. Upon searching, I came across this, mm -hmm. and uh, it looks like a, a wooden woodpecker. It's made from a, a tree trunk that obviously fell down mm -hmm. at some point, and someone's come along and carved carved this sculpture. Mm -hmm. uh, it reminds me a bit of the uh, totem poles that the Americans used to to build in their mm -hmm. in their towns, in their in their villages. Um, I wasn't intending to talk about this, but uh, I felt that it had it bear it bared relation to this film subject. Carry on watching, hopefully we'll find the grave soon. Moses Carpenter came to Europe in the late 1800s and that's where he made a bit of a name for himself. Literally, he was baptised Moses Carpenter. Uh, he travelled with a bunch of people from his own tribe and together they formed a bit of a travelling circus. They sold herbal medicines, performed miracles, gave massages and some of them, like Moses himself, even played music. It's here in Middlesbrough, while Moses was performing for the locals, that he suddenly and sadly became sick. He was admitted to North Riding Infirmary in 1889 and he was diagnosed with pneumonia. Back then there wasn't anything anyone could really do for that sort of sickness. Um, it was a death sentence, which is how Moses Carpenter ended up being buried here in Linthorpe Cemetery. He's dead, but not forgotten. Well, here we are. Moses Carpenter's grave. Died 1889 from pneumonia, and he was only 35. Now, I came across Moses' story by talking to a guy online called Terry Carroll. Terry Carroll was born in Middlesbrough, and as a child, he stumbled across Moses' grave, and since then, he's been inspired to do what he's doing today. He works as a social worker in Canada alongside Native American people. He's recently campaigned to try and get uh, Moses a bit of uh, recognition in his own native country. Maybe try and bring some of his own tribes people over here to do a ceremony or maybe even to lift up Moses' body and take it back to Canada. My own personal feelings on that subject. Um, I like the idea of the, the ceremony bringing his own people over here, maybe some family members. But as for moving the body, I think that would be a mistake. He's been here 120 years and he's part of Middlesbrough folklore. Um, he's, he's part of Middlesbrough now, in mind, body and soul, and I think it should be left that way.
Thank you.